you know, the notation. So y equals absolute value of x. See those vertical bars? That tells us the absolute value. And what does the absolute value do? It takes whatever this quantity is inside of those absolute value bars, and after you simplify it, you always turn it into a positive number. So it's always a positive value. So let's go ahead and plot the parent function, this basic function here, by picking some negative values and some positive values. Okay, so when I put negative three in the absolute value, that's really telling us, you know, like what's that distance from zero? Is it, you know, how far is it from the you know, from zero. Well, if you were to go on the number line, you can see here's negative three. It's actually three units from zero. Granted, it's three to the left, but that distance is always positive. So this is going to be three. The absolute value of negative two, again, we make that positive. Negative one, it becomes positive one. Zero, the absolute value of zero is zero. Now, here sometimes students make a little bit of a mistake. Remember, the absolute value always makes it positive. It doesn't make it the opposite. It just makes it positive. So one is going to be one, two is going to be two, and three is gonna be three. All we have to do now is plot these coordinates from the origin. So we've got left three, up three, right? Left two, up two, left one, up one, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three. And what you'll notice with when you graph these absolute value graphs, it has that real sharp V shape, that real sharp corner to it. So that's our basic graph. But now let's say we wanna do more challenging ones. Say for example, ones that are in this form here, Y equals A, absolute value of x minus h plus k. So how does this work? Well, the h, okay, is what shifts the graph left and right. Okay, so this number, this group with the x, it's easy to remember, it shifts it in the x-axis direction, left and right. But this one has the opposite effect on the graph. So that means if it's x minus two, it would actually go positive two, so to the right. If it was x plus two, it would actually go negative two, so to the left two. But this k value actually has the same effect on the graph, meaning if it's positive, you're gonna shift it up, and if it's negative, you're gonna shift it down, okay? Then what the a value does is it stretches the graph or compresses the graph, okay? And if it's negative, what it'll do is it'll reflect the graph over the x-axis. If a is greater than one, it's a vertical stretch. If it's between zero and one, like a half, it's a vertical shrink. Let's take a look at some examples so you can see how this works. So say, for example, this one here, y equals negative two, absolute value of x minus one plus four. Okay, what I like to do is I like to do the translation or the shift first. So what does this minus one right here do to the graph? Okay, well if you said right one, you're right, and then plus four, what does that do? Up four, remember this one has the opposite effect, this one has the same effect as the sign. So minus one, we're gonna go right one, up four, and there's gonna be our vertex. Our vertex is this point here where the graph bends, right? Now, the negative two, we talked about how the negative is gonna reflect it over the x-axis. That means this graph's gonna be opening down like this. And because this a value is greater than one, okay, the absolute value of that is greater than one, it's gonna be a vertical stretch, okay? So what that means is this graph is gonna actually be opening down, but it's gonna be stretched, which means it's gonna be narrower, it's going down faster. But an easy way to graph these absolute value graphs is to think of this a value like the slope. So negative two, we can think of that as a negative two over one. So from this point, we're gonna go down two, right one, but notice it's symmetric, meaning it's the same about both sides of that uh, axis of symmetry, that vertex. So if we go down two, right one, we can also go down to left one, and we can repeat that process, down two, right one, and same thing over here, we can go down to left one, and see we're getting this nice V 